In the last Undergrounds vid, I collected items for survival underground, where I got harassed constantly by mobs, slime spawning at a consistent rate in my current home, and discovered a grander cave. Well, I suppose that means it's time to see what occurs in this Minecraft Undergrounds video. So let's get straight to it. My next goal to survive underground, and more importantly, have the means to actually establish something underground, was to do a massive amount of clearing and lighting up in the neighbouring cave. But before getting to work, I had to deal with the mobs outside my current home, which resulted in a trident before another group arrived. I ain't dropped it too, nice! After taking care of the mobs, I came across a very familiar looking parrot, who I decided to tame though this parrot definitely had some death wish like thoughts. After that I started to join my strip up to the larger cave, to make transporting items and home moving easier when the time came. My connection was a branching tunnel, which surprisingly had both its ends end up on the opposite sides of the cave wall. Wait, what? Wait, wait I know where this part of the cave is. <laughs> Though later on I had to leave my connecting for a moment as I spotted something very lucky. <gasps> Forget mining at the moment, I gotta get that guy into water immediately. Hey bud, get down here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, get here, 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 get here. Come to me, come to me, come to me, come to me, don't get some down, don't get some down. Oh no, no. Oh no, where he is, it's perfect! Come on, start changing, start changing, start changing. Come on, start changing. Yes, 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 it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Come on, change, change, change. There's not any gold armor down there, I don't like the look of this. And that helmet's going right down there. Right, he's dead. <gasps> oh, it's stuck! I can get it! Yes! Oh my word! After retrieving the diamond helmet, I quickly returned home to stash it away in safety. Once the helmet was safe, I finally decided to give my parrots some names. I quite fittingly decided to name my parrots after the two things that I see a lot on a daily Minecraft basis. Maybe that's what I should call you, I'll call you Slime. Yeah, I'll call you Slime, and I'll call you Rocky. Slime and Rocky. I then went back to finishing off my tunnels filling both sides up with water for slightly better transportation. Well, not currently, but maybe for boats down the line. Once the tunnels were mostly finished, I started to mine down the cave pillars to create greater space. Though these moments of pillar mining did have some slightly funny zombie moments. Whoa! I was not going to see if those creepers about to drop in there, but no, that was something completely different. Then, during my pillar clearance, I realised I also had to clear out the mass amounts of dripstone in the cave. Yes, in order to try and build something worthwhile, I would have to spend minutes to hours just mining. So I should quickly ask what you guys think of me including my voice in the recorded footage itself, alongside this story commentary. Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Once my suggestion was out the way, I had a rather odd enderman encounter, as this lad was moving slow, and I hadn't even given him eye contact. At best, I looked at his non-existent ear. Wait, I didn't even look at you in the eye. I didn't even look at you in the eye, bud. Why is he walking towards me? Without the way, I began the wall operation where the extensive amount of mining was started in order to remove the huge wall that sectioned off the cave and there was a lot for me to do with mass amounts of stone, dirt, copper, you name it, I probably mined it. Actually, forget about that, I don't think I came across any obsidian or diamonds. Luckily though, once I had mined out a good chunk, I found a chicken which I knew had to be lassoed up. Things were going pretty well, the wall clearance was going more than well. I now had a chicken and for some reason endermen seemed to be quite common for me. So it was a great chance for enderpearls and grass blocks. And uh, just between you and me, I found the grass blocks thrilling to obtain. Although just as I thought I was doing alright, I loaded back into my world and ocelots... Uh, 
yeah, you know what happened. <gasps> so next I decided to deal with the ocelots, and did a sizable amount of mining off camera. Got me a new parrot friend. Push him down! Oh my word! Dude, wildlife is on my side! And got a visit from the one thing I least expected. Oh! Oh my word! Oh! Oh! Okay. This is new. This is very new. Oh boy. Uh. Okay, that was. Oh! The whole point of living underground was to avoid those things. How are they here? <laughs> is it gone? No, it's still there. Uh, is, is this thing gonna come down for another swipe? No? Okay, I think I'm free. <laughs> After a sizable amount of work had been completed on clearing the wall, I decided for the sake of my own sanity to engage in some more cave exploration. Going against the many aggressive neighbours within this dripstone battleground. After some exploration and ore mining, I made my way back where I did come across a slime. Yes, it seems my entire underground existence has the potential to be plagued by these abominations of jelly. Anyway, I returned to my chest to once again learn how deadly my natural skylight was. Was it? Oh my word, no! After that, I went further down to once again battle my nemesis of this series so far. No need to return because I had accidentally stored away my food supply. Yeah, you can call me an idiot here. Anyway, I ventured further down into the cave and entered the lower section where mobs began to get closer and closer. I was dealing with a creeper of a small group, and this is when a tragic yet conflicting thing occurred. Blow up and no, 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 no! Slime! <gasps> slime, you slime. Your, your death was for the greater good. I can't believe that's why I find diamond. My pet parrot, the only friend, the only things keeping me sane in this underground world has to die. That's right, my pet parrot slime got blown to smithereens. Yet slime's death had given me diamonds. This was a truly conflicting moment as I was devastated that one of my pets was gone, yet I was given diamonds in the process. But now it was time to avenge my fallen parrot friend, by making this exploration a time to clear out and light up, taking the fight further into the cave. Can I get a creeper in front? Come on, come on, come on. Blow, blow, blow. That's it, that's it, that's it. Slime will be avenged! That's it. Now blow them all up, boy. There we go, that's how we do. Alright. Let's go and suck back there, I can engage Wish. Oh, you hit yourself! You hit yourself with that! Okay, okay, I right. just engage, just engage, just engage. How long do I have this for? 30 blooming seconds, are you joking? Oh, I didn't place our torch just a zombie spawned. Right, there's one torch. Right. That works. Get him zombo, get him zombo, get him zombo. Team him, team him. Nice. Now you die. Stay back. Now, now I have a good weapon. How many creepers and zombies? What? 
this is going to be a run and a half just to torture us all up. Uh, Alright, I'm going on, I'm going on a marathon torture. Oh. Oh, I've already started in fighting. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. Oh, oh, Filsa, no. I'm, that plan actually works surprisingly well. Is there someone by me? There's someone by me. Oh, great. There are so many of these guys, dude. There's so many. When, when would they ever stop? You are, yeah, I think it's just time to head back. I think it's time, I just, I just gotta run for it and get, get back. And then maybe next time, Mr. Operation Torch. The entire area. After this combat, I came across a baby glow squid, which I thought was adorable. Oh, that's actually so cute. And with enough avenging done, I headed back to find more cave yet to be explored, and return home to pass on the news of Slime's passing to Rocky. I left this out of the last chapter, but I actually came across a blue parrot as I was on my way back, and considering the incident with Slime, it was clear that both Rocky and I needed a new companion, and luckily this parrot was tamed with a single seed. It seems he wants in on this underground style of life. And upon returning, I gave our friend a fitting name as these events came to a close. Right, I'll have to uh, come up with a name for you. I'm gonna... I'm gonna name you after something that's the same colour of suit. Something that's uh, nice, blue and beautiful that I've uh, seen in the caves. I'm gonna call you... Water. The events that took place in this video were showed how in the undergrounds your luck will be on a constant shift. From obtaining many valuable items to finding out slimes are your plague and endermen are your bane, to having a way passive mobs can enter the cave just for nature to also use it against you, to even finding diamonds at the cost of a precious friend. This survival adventure underground has truly begun to feel more interesting with each step and each piece of progress made. And with one large chunk of the cave hollowed out, and a painstaking bit of mining still to do, it's clear this form of Minecraft life could easily turn into something worthwhile in the end. And with that said, this video concludes. I honestly can't express the rollercoaster this video has been, and can't wait to once again continue this adventure of living underground.